Hello guys, welcome to Linux Automations in, and in this today's video we are going to talk about how do we install Jenkins. Jenkins installation can, can be done in multiple ways. So today we are going to see the method. So how do you install in a Linux fashion like doing the things with RPM. So whenever you go to the Jenkins.io website, you will find download Jenkins. So just go to uh, download Jenkins and you'll be finding LTS release or weekly release and we'll go with the LTS long-term support release and here you'll be finding Red Hat related thing so just click on that and you have uh, basically two commands to download one to repo file another one to uh, download the keys so let me try to do that so before do that let me connect to the Jenkins instance Alright, so let me download the firstly repo file. So just follow the process over here. And finally, so m install Jenkins. So it is done. So how do you start the services? System CTL start Jenkins. So it's definitely going to fail. Why? Because uh, it requires Java in the backend to run. So because it's a Java based application. So you can clearly see that particular one. So by seeing the status of Jenkins. Here you can see it is find, trying to find the execute a command such java but there is no such file or directory so let me install java and then it will go through so jenkins rpm itself comes with a inbuilt tomcat and inside there will be a var file automatically so um, whenever you try to start the jenkins so the default port number is going to be as it is a tomcat it is going to be 8080 so system ctl start jenkins the process is now started so ps f grip for uh, grip for uh, jenkins you can see jenkins process is running and you can see the port number let's start hyphen ltp so the port number is 8080 now what you can do is you can try to connect to this particular server over browser 8080 so there will be a small uh, initialization installation wizard so which you need to follow so Jenkins is going to ensure that you are the right user who have access on the server is doing the uh, doing the installation wizard so it is giving the initial password so just get the content and uh, keep it over here so that's a default one and the next thing it is going to be asking you is okay so download the required suggested plugins so if you want you can go with that or you can customize that so in our case we'll be going with install suggested plugins so it's going to download all the required basic plugins for our Jenkins so there are decent amount of um, uh, plugins so which is going to install so which will take care of most of our requirements And it asks for the create an admin user. So in my case, I'm using root and uh, some password. So root user is my admin user. Or I can use, uh, if you have a proper email address, you can give it over here. Or else here I'm using root at the right local host. 
so save and finish so using those credentials now you can start using jenkins so just click on go on start using jenkins so this is your brand new jenkins portal and you already logged in as a root user so that's all about the installation and thank you for watching this video have a good day so please subscribe to my channel thank you